Hi there, Toy here, and uh, yeah, it's a bit late for a wrap-up, so this is my September 2018 catch-up. No, saying catch up like that sounds like I'm talking about a condiment for a sandwich, but that's not it. I have a lot of things to get caught up on, so I'm going to try to make this relatively quick. I have some notes I need to look at here just so I don't forget anything. So it's pretty obvious that I didn't make my goal of posting a video every month this year, but you know, hey, there's always next year. <laughs> uh, basically what happened between the months of April and June of this year my life got pretty stressful I was battling a little bit of depression and I had to decide which aspects of my life to pursue and which things to let go with that I uh, left one career one job and started over in a new one so that was a very stressful time of my life and because of that all of my reading and writing got kind of kicked to the back burner until I could find myself back into a place of stability. So then came the month of August and August was a really good month for me. I did a lot of reading. Well not a lot. I started reading again but I did do a lot of writing and um, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a separate video where I'm going to talk about some of my writing adventures in the month of August as well as maybe share some samples with you. So now for my 2018 reading challenge I'm going to um, kind of have to alter my original plan. I had set a specific list of books I wanted to read this year as well as a certain number of books that I wanted to read. So at this point I'm going to shoot to complete that number of books. I think it's going to be possible, but I'm not going to focus so much on the titles. So I'll try that again next year. So now here's where I do my catch up. Normally um, people re record, you know, like wrap up videos for the month, but it's been so many months. I really, really need to just get caught up here. So let's do that now. So in April, I was reading The Tao of Bill Murray real life um, by Gavin Edwards and I was also reading Robin Bennis's The Guns Above Airship number one and basically I've abandoned both of those projects at this time I think it was just because I was reading them while all this other stuff was going on and so um, I'm gonna just kinda try those books again later on down the road I don't even wanna try to you know look at them now but I'm definitely gonna look at them again so my original plan for my April TBR was I was going to read Celie McKenzie's uh, Sign of the Green Dragon, I was going to read S. Wharton's Dread, a horror collection, and I was going to read Save the Cat, the last book on screenwriting you'll ever need to read. And that was actually an IWSG book club book. And so I actually read all those books. <laughs> and um, I think the one book being a book club book helped me kind of do that. So I'll talk more about those in a minute. Um, what I was planning on reading after reading those was Ruth Jari's um, 50 Fabulous Tomatoes for Your Garden. And I also wanted to read Sharon Von Orman's Like Yeah. And I never got around to Like Yeah, but I did read 50, 50 Fabulous Tomatoes for Your Garden. So I'll mention that in a minute. And so here's basically from April to now. This is These are the books that I've actually read, rated, and reviewed. Sign of the Green Dragon. I gave that one a four. Uh, Suddenly Sorceress. This one was a reread for me. It went from a two rating to a three rating. You'll have to read the review to find out why. Um, I read Save the Cat, the last book on screenwriting you'll ever need to read, and I gave that one a four. Uh, Dread, a horror collection. I gave that five. Uh, Revelation. This is actually a novella in the Griffin series. I believe this is number seven in the series. I gave this one a five. I read the Black River Pack Series box set. I was trying something new that's a little bit outside of my comfort zone, and so I ended up giving that series a three, but you really should read the review if you're at all interested in it. It's not going to be for everyone. I'm glad that I tried it, but it's not something that I'm going to continue to pursue. Um, I also read a free uh, comic book. I read Scott Pilgrim's Free Comic Book Day Story. Uh, this was a digital uh, book that um, I found online and I ended up giving it a four. 
I read Write With Faye, 10 Sparks to Guide You from Idea to Publication. I gave that one a five. And then I also read The Haunted Bakery of Seven Pines. I gave that one a five. Now here are the books that I read and rated but have yet to review. Uh, Lion, Witch in the Wardrobe, which I gave a five. Uh, Turntables, this is Real Romance, book two, a four. Heartless, uh, I gave that one a three. 50 Fabulous Tomatoes for Your Garden, I gave a four. And then The Little Blue Book for Authors, 53 do's and don'ts no one is telling you so these are books that i have read and i rated i just haven't taken the time to write the reviews and hopefully i'll get to that this week so right now i have a whole bunch of children's books that i'm reading and i'm gonna hopefully review just because um, i've been trying to find children's books for my new job to share with my clients so um, there's that and plus i have a bunch of other stuff on my radar i'm not gonna do a tbr right now I really just want to see how this week goes. So that is my catch up. Please stick around. I'm going to try to do another video talking about my writing and just try to come up with some other stuff to do and try to, you know, be consistent with this. For any of you who are still here following me, I really appreciate it. And hopefully I'll have something interesting to share with you next time. Bye for now.